Odyssey here with McWang Science Center and you're watching SciSparks. Ever wanted to breathe fire like a dragon? Well, you may not need scales or talons, but just a little puff or some really cold fire. <laughs> Have graham crackers and over here I have liquid nitrogen which is super duper cold <sighs> whoa that's not magic that's science when I bit into this frozen tree we saw vapor come out of my nose and mouth with what looks like smoke but don't be deceived nitrogen in its natural state is a gas in fact, it makes up over 78% of our Earth's atmosphere. But when it is cooled down to negative 321 degrees, it changes states of matter from a gas to a liquid. Since the air around us is room temperature, this difference between the temperatures causes the liquid nitrogen to evaporate fast. However, the vapor that we see here is the condensation of the water vapor in the air much like the clouds we see in the sky. It's heavy enough to see, but light enough to float, like a mist. But why liquid nitrogen? Other than it being really cold, liquid nitrogen can also be used for food science. Yup, the science of food. Food science. It's the study of how chemistry, biology, and physics all come together in what we eat. It's how we figured out why bread rises, why milk spoils, or in this case, how extreme cold can make some really chilly treats. Dragon breath treats are a dessert that is made from cereal and liquid nitrogen. <laughs> it originated in Los Angeles, California, and then soon was popularized and spread around the world over here towards the Philippines, Taiwan, Korea, and other Southeast Asian countries. When you eat dragon breath treats, the liquid nitrogen cools down the water vapor inside our mouths, creating a visible vapor. It's the same reason that we see our cold breaths on a cold day, but way more intense. It's fun, but don't let the fog fool you. Liquid nitrogen is not a snack by itself. It's so cold, it can cause frostbite, asphyxiation, or even damage to your throat and mouth if not handled correctly. Liquid nitrogen is used in a wide variety of industries, like the cryopreservation of biological samples, such as tissue samples or vaccines and transport. It is also used to cool superconductors. So when we talk about dragon's breath, we're not only talking about dessert, we're talking about science you can taste. Hmm. Thank you for watching this episode of High Spark. If you enjoyed this episode, leave us a like. And to catch new episodes as soon as they're released, subscribe to our channel. Until next time. <laughs>